Hello peeps, Drogat here. Welcome back to another little Starmate tutorial. Today I would like to shed some light on the rail system interacting with logic and logics interacting with the rail system. Because a lot of peeps seem to have difficulties understanding how both systems interact with each other and how the rail system can be controlled by logics. <laughs> First, we need a way to stop some rails. Let's put down a speed controller and let's assign it to some rail blocks and then give it a activation module, assign that as well. And you see the rail system stops. By turning on this activation module, the rail system is back at 100% speed. As you can see, the normal rails not being linked are at 50% speed and those affected by the speed controller will be at 100% speed. Now you can change the speed by adding more activation modules to it, also linking them. And now we are way slower than the unlinked things. The rail speed controller will take into account the linked activation modules divided by active activation modules. Linked are five, active is one, meaning we are down to one fifth of maximum speed, being 20%. If you place an activation module right next to a rail block or a button, then you can see that the activation module will stay on as long the rail docker is on the rail segment that is adjacent to the activation module. Whereas the button will turn off after its 0.5 seconds sync. Next I would like to show you that any high flank of an activation module that is linked to a rail segment will make the rail segment undock what is docked to it. The low signal, basically from high to low, does not affect the rail block at all with an activation module linking to rail block and putting another rail segment right next to it for example this rotation block we can actually change the selected segment to the segment we have next to the activation module the same thing for the activation module you see the activation module on a rotation block will stay on as long as the docked entity is rotating and the rail docker still above the rotation block whereas the button of course just will turn off after 0.5 seconds we can increase the speed for these by activating these this will also affect the speed the rail rotation block is going to turn also we can influence the amount of degrees turned by linking active activation modules to the rail rotation block each one adding another 45 degrees. A rail segment being a dead end will just stop the docked entity. A rail rotation block being the dead end will first turn the entity, then trying to move it further and then detecting it is a dead end, park the entity on itself, creating another pulse. I hope this video cleared up some stuff for you. If so, then please share it with other people who also could benefit from this knowledge. And if you like the video, please leave a like. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye, guys.